pattern brushes. All right, to look for a pattern brush or make a pattern brush, I'm going to look for something on the internet. I'm going to look for junk. Okay, junk. Literally junk. Images. And, yeah, this looks like a good picture. Now, don't be picky. Just pick something with junk in it. And I like this because it has some round shapes to it. Uh, anytime that you have round shapes or some kind of shape that makes sense to the human brain, it really does add a lot to the brush. So I'm going to make a new document after I copy that from the internet and hit OK. And then edit, paste it in. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is just capture some of this as a brush. Okay, to do so I'm just going to zoom in. And I want to capture maybe this area right here. To do so, I use the lasso tool. And the lasso tool, I'm just going to kind of go around the outside edge, go in here, maybe capture that, um, capture this round piece right over here, and then go around, capture this little edge here. And I'm totally not being picky. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to edit, copy it, and go File, New, and change this to a document that's square. So I take the largest number and mirror it over to here. So 565 needs to be put here. And then I'm going to edit, paste it in. So this would be a nice brush as it is, but what I like to do is make a total black and white or uh, grayscale, and especially black and white. I'll show you why. So what I'm going to do here is mess around with the exposure. Okay, and wh what I'm doing here is trying to make so the the black is rich black, and the white is very washed out, kind of like that. So all colors are kind of wiped out, but there's this black left behind. Kind of like that. And then what I'm going to do is image adjustment threshold it. And to threshold it, I just go like this. And if you can notice what it does, it just takes out all the color and it leaves all this these parts behind. The last thing I want to do is show transformation controls and make this a little bit smaller to fit in the center of the document. Okay, there we go. So now I have this brush and it's more of a pattern than anything else. Edit, define brush preset, and I'll call this junk one. And I'll do that over and over again usually until I have this nice collection of junk. The reason why I do this is if I take these, I can really concept a piece out using, you know, random shapes. Uh, so here I have this. And instead of drawing in just plain old brushes, I draw in these, and I can make these anything from a ship to a face to anything else. So sometimes I'll just use it on half opacity. And then I can flip that around, maybe. And with this comes a lot of imagination. There's no doubt about it. So, you know, you got to kind of see what's going on. You know, I might make this into a spinal cord or something like that. So it would take me a very long time to start developing the shape more than I want to do in a introduction to Photoshop class. But what I really like about it is it's totally random and you can go in here and say well maybe I want to take the scatter up or maybe the angle jitter. So now it's even more random and you can take the shape down a little bit and as I paint with this I can start developing shapes in my head. Okay. Now, that being said, if if you're not an abstract type of person that can pull shapes out of their head or you're just a beginning starting introduction Photoshop type person, uh, this brush might not help you as much as the next one. Let's say I go in here and look for clip art. Well, I 
and then I see oh this for instance okay this is a nice little piece and I can copy the image and drag it into Photoshop file new okay and then edit paste it in okay now the problem is the document isn't square so what do I do well I can go to the canvas size and double the document up so uh, right now the width is greater than the height so I can copy this and paste it here and there we go now it's in a square document and I can go edit define brush preset and I can call this uh, floor or something like that floor one so if you're just into like graphic design and stuff brushes are really nice also that you can take it and now use this as a brush anywhere I want in the document great for backgrounds and stuff watermarked out so those are pattern brushes and um, now let's move on to the next video